back, everyone. My name is Alex, and I'm a senior animator at Riot Games on the R&D department and the owner and founder of Animation Flow. And today I want to bring another video about Workflow here, highlighting an amazing tool that I just heard about not too long ago, and I found it fantastic. It's Puppeteer. From Moving Dot, Puppeteer Overlap. It's an amazing tool to do overlap. Works real time. It's great. So head over to moving.gunroad.com and you're going to see here Puppeteer. It's $30. Animation Flow students will have a discount code. Thank you so much for the creator. I found like I found the tool. I found so amazing. I just contact because it is like the best overlap tool I've used. So easy to use and it's so good. So I just want to highlight a few things here on my workflow that is really helping me with this tool. So to install, it's pretty easy. The documentation is very good. Install, drag and drop, and it's gonna appear here on top, puppeteer. And you'll see there is the overlap. There's a pop-up, super simple as well. You have scene overlaps, presets, and the documentation. Create, remove, bake. There you can just create the overlap, etc. Super easy to use, simple to install, and the way it works. So I have this animation here. Very simple animation. And as you see, I animated by hand the leaf, which is great. I mean, personally, I really like animating by hand some of that stuff because you can emphasize silhouette, line of action, really push the, the pose itself. But you see like all those little other leaves here, I didn't animate because that will take me so long. And it is really annoying to be going over like one by one. That's where this overlap tool would help me a lot. And even on the leaf here, I would probably give a password overlap tool, bake it out, and then change it up because it will make it smoother. So the way it works, super simple. You select the chain that you want. It has to be an FK chain. So you select from the bottom to the top, from the parent to the child. So for example, I'm going to select those three. Click create, and that's it. It's gonna change the playback speed to play every fra frame, max real time, so you can see the overlap. If your rig is heavy, you're gonna have to play blast to be able to see it because you're not gonna see real time. I always recommend play blasting, play blasting if you don't have a real time performance rig. But the animation flow rigs, we try to keep as close to real time as possible. I believe all our rigs are real time depending on your computer. And I'm just gonna be creating here from bottom up, selecting the chain and creating the overlap. Now that I have all my overlap overlaps created here, I can just select, highlight them all. And you see it creates super organized outline. It creates a puppeteer overlap separated group. And then whenever you bake, it bakes out to the curves. But now when I play, you see instantly we have a default drag. This just by doing this so easy is amazing. And we can adjust in real time. I want more drag. I'm just gonna slide it here and now I'm gonna have more drag. And I want more overshoot. I'm just gonna slide it here. And now we have more overshoot and I want like a lot of stretch. And you see that it's a lot of stretch or I want less overshoot but more stretch to have a nice smear. Or I want less drag, just stretch. And you see that there's not a lot of drag, just hits to the pose. Let's put less stretch, more overshoot, more drag. And let's say, for example, if you work in games and you're like, no, I really need to match the last pose to be exactly what I have. So you can just come here, set a key on all the attributes. And here you can just put it back to zero and you're going to have this animated back to zero and you're not going to have any overlap and you match exactly the keys. So this is amazing. I don't want to set a key right now. Another amazing thing that you can set how much you want of the drag from the tip to the, from the bottom to the tip. So from the parents to the child on this FK chain. 
just by using this curve and you can just for example favor more let's actually let's not use the curve let's use this curve on the stretch and i want to really favor just the the tips so the base is not going to stretch as much but the tip is going to stretch or actually let's do something more extreme let's do it even more extreme where the minimum is like zero you see now like how if we scroll if we scroll it's not gonna show but if we pause it here only the tips are stretching which gives like a nice effect and yeah, one more overshoot another cool parameter we have down here is physics it doesn't have collisions yet I was talking to the creator and there's on Gumroad that says that it's going to have collision in the future. But it does have physics uh, simulations here. That is, for example, some gravity. As you see, I blended. If I put 100% of physics, it's just going to go down because of the gravity. But I'm going to blend in 50% of physics, put more damping so it feels softer and now we have gravity i can put more gravity i don't want more gravity i actually i actually want some winds so i'm gonna open up the wind put some strength on the wind x y z so i want x negative to go if i look at here to go to my left side and now you see that we have this nice wind going to the side I can tone down the strength, maybe put more gust, maybe less gust, more frequency, not less frequency. So it's a little more similar to what we have there. Let's put more wind. I keep pausing, but I don't need to pause. I forget about that. And let's put a little bit more frequency on the gust, more gust strength more gust direction and now you see how i have this really nice and it was like super easy to do i think this one specifically is moving too much so i can just select the controller and it's gonna highlight for me which one is the overlap and actually on this one i don't want any physics i want i want only on the smaller ones and i can just change the parameter for this one beautiful amazing so now another thing that i want to highlight is that i actually use this not only for overlapping secondary action sometimes i use on my main character as you see here the arm is very stiff right now you see how it starts doing the flip here it has like some flip but then it just hits a wall i did that on purpose i deleted the frames because I want to create an overlap on the arm, like the upper arm, elbow, and wrist. So I'm going to create an overlap here. And now when I play, let's exaggerate more this drag. And now you see how I have like a very smooth, very smooth uh, saddling. But actually, I think it's a little too smooth. What if we get less overshoot? No, more overshoot. Less drag. Uh, a lot more drag. Nah, less drag. And what if we put a little bit of the gravity? Uh, let's blend in less. Uh, nice nice so you see how just tweaking these values now i have the arm it was just hitting a wall and now it's actually having a nice overlap and settling there and i can just select these controllers and i'm gonna bake it so now when i go to my graph editor i will have this overlap happening here and I can just tweak, for example, here, I want to tweak a little bit of this rotate Z. So I just come here and clean up this curve. I was just like, okay, I want 
to exaggerate this a little bit more. Maybe I want to push this down a little bit. Maybe not as much here. Maybe we can just settle a little bit slower and just settle here. But you see my starting point was done just with the overlapper and now I can just clean up whatever I need. And I can do the same with the wrist, etc. Cool. So amazing, fantastic tool. Moving dot dot gunroad dot com overlapper puppeteer is the tool set. Overlap is the tool. Amazing. Thank you so much, Moving Dot, for giving us the discount for the animation flow students. And first of all, for developing this amazing tool. I've been using it a lot. I really, really like it. It's the easiest to use, most friendly, and it's like just the best one to use it. And it's going to constantly be getting updates. So I'm excited for what is going to be coming soon. But that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. And if you have any questions, if you want any workflow tips or anything else, please let me know. Send me a message, comment. Cool. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.